mature, old, full, ripe. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we have a, a rare Eredauer whiskey here on my cask. It's 15 years old, which is one of the oldest whiskies available from Eredauer today. And it's a Madeira finish. Madeira, Madeira, Madeira is so much better than beer. Well, I do not like beer. Um, this one is in cask strength. It's 56.4 ABV and it's from 1999 until 2015. It's quite recently uh, bottled and this card box, well, it's like Japanese paperwork. Uh, it's a wonderful green card box and inside there's this thick paper uh, container and everything is fine and very well done and this box is green and the pictures I'm putting in here uh, are projected on a green screen and this is quite exactly the same color as this green screen has and if I'm going over here mm, it looks funny isn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? Distilled September 21st, 1999 and bottled on May 25th, 2015. Casks, two of them, 902 and 903. Outturned 472 bottles. Uh, and here on the, just put it here, do not disturb the picture. Um, here on the back I've written, I've, I've uh, read more. This product takes the core qualities of Edward Dower spirit produced in 1999, filled into plain hogshead, okay, hogsheads, and laid down to mature for more than 12 years, and then complements these by finishing in fresh Madeira hogsheads for a further period of 39 months. So more than three years of finishing. This is extraordinary much. The resultant product shows great harmony and complexity, displaying a nutty character enriched with figs, toffee and dried fruit. Natural cask strength, bottled nectar, natural cask strength. This whiskey retains the full depth of color and all the flavors developed during maturation. Natural color. Wonderful. I like that. Yeah. But there's some writing here in glass on the top telling you this is from Eredauer and typically this Eredauer has to be written exactly on top of the label. No, no, isn't. So uh, on the back there's typically a notch and this notch is used to fix the bottle on the plate where you fix the label either automatically or by hand and if you look here you see as part of the back label. So the one who has put this label on the bottle had not the slightest idea what to do with this notch. Well, I'm a very exact person. And so here you can see it's handwork. So there's no machinery working. It's manual labor. People working with their hands. So I have to be careful because this one has cast thing with 54, 56.4. <sighs> yeah, a mature, old, full, ripe, not that sweet, starting spicy, yeah, some nuttiness I do not like. No, I like hazelnuts, but I do not feel comfortable with them in certain times of the year. So there's sometimes some sharpness in those hazelnuts for me. And this hazelnut aroma is shining up for me. There's an association of hazelnuts for me. And then there's some depth, deep, 
sweetness, a depth of figs. But not these candied figs, but the fresh figs, where the sweetness is not too intense. And dark fruits, whatever, plums. Yeah, dark black dried plums. And some, some toffee showing up. Yeah, uh, I do not have it straight, no. Um, <clears throat> have some dilution, not too much, but just <clears throat> to bring it below 50. And it's turning hazy, wow. like a pernol where you add water. It's becoming lighter, not that dark. The, the light is reflected and this haziness completely different now. And the aroma is also a little bit lighter and the Madeira is shining through. A little bit whiny and the nuttiness is becoming lighter, not that intense. Fruity. Hefty impact. So I uh, something between is more than forty six, but it's less fifty. So I hit it somewhere in between, say forty eight, forty seven, and there is a a caramel toffee taste on my tongue, some addition of spiciness of the oak and some dark fruitiness of the Madeira probably. Very well balanced. Very good, very intense, very full, but there's always a but. Hefty price tag, 140 euros, pounds, dollars on it, um, which is for a 15 year old whiskey, even in cast strength, just a little bit high. There are Madeira finished Erudaurs on the market in those ugly uh, softwood cases, half a liter bottle, also in cask strength or high ABV, um, but only for six or 12 months finished in Madeira casks. And they go, well, a lot of the, the way of maturity of these ones. Uh, so you can have it for half the money, two thirds of the taste of this one. Well, it's always a little bit more expensive to have the best one but there are, well, whiskies which can show you where this one will lead to, if you can't afford it. Yeah, there are people on the market who are always willing to pay extreme money for whiskies they like, and I would like to, to see an Erodau whiskey or a whiskey at all, which matured for the full 15 or 21 years in a fresh filled Madeira cask. So all I've found so far was finishing in Madeira casks from different distilleries, different countries. But the first fill Madeira for a full maturation period. This is what I'm looking for. Thank you very much for watching. There's more to come. Stay tuned. If you'd like to discuss this video with me, please do so on whiskey.com in our vlog.